Should you go out and spend your money on Legacy of Destruction? That is the question we're asking today. We went out and bought three of these, which are $18 a piece at my Walmart. I don't know how much they are anywhere else, but we spent 18 on each of these. So they're the new ones. They got like tokens on them, I guess. I don't know, but we're going to let's get into it. Okay, the plastic is off all of them. We'll go ahead and still open the boxes on screen for you guys because there are promos in here. Did not want to come out there. All right, so we've got our first promo. If you're new here, uh, this is a value series episode. So we only count holes and items over $1. Forward our value back. It's not meant to be like we make a ton of money. It's just fun. We want to see if we can make our money back. So we got a token here. Very adorable. I love this. That is fantastic. Okay, we're actually just going to take all of these out because I was expecting the token to be a little bit more, but it okay, all right. It just wasn't. So here's our next token. This one is really dope. I really, really like that one. That is sick. It, it's Yugi and Gendora, if you don't know. That is, wow. Okay. And our final one here. These things just like don't work very easily. Konami has very odd packaging. I don't know what their choice is. Oh, nice. We got Dr. Crowler. Um, ancient gear in the background. Dope. Not my favorite one. Honestly, my favorite one is probably this one. Don't know if any of those are going to be over a dollar, but if they are, you saw it on screen. Now we just have a bunch of packs. We are trying to pull items over one dollar. So I think we're looking for ultras and above. I don't think any of the supers in this set are worth over a dollar. I think they're all under, which is usually how it is anyway. So we're going to fly through these because we know what we're looking for. We're looking for money. For Mr. Krabs. We got Blessing of the Voiceless Voice. Our first. Well, super. I was going to say our first poll, but like. Is a super rare really a poll? You know? I guess it is because Tenpai is in here. A lot of the Tenpai cards are super rares. So, I guess we could count them as polls because Tenpai is quite good. We got si that. Val Monica. Oh, well, I thought that was going to be our poll, but it's not. That is. We got more Marshmallow. Marshmallow. However you want to say it. All right, come on. We need Ultras, Secrets. A quarter century rare would be fantastic. I believe the best normal secret rare that you can pull is the Throne card for Ubel. So, which is funny because. Our last opening. I think we pulled it. So, kind of wild. There's your uh, Tenpai Dragons. Your OTK deck. Quite literally, that's just what it does. OTK. We got Enlightenment Dragon. Beautiful. I love Light Swarms. You guys know that? Just dope. Dope. We keep it going. The Light Swarm stuff is really awesome. I need it to come to Master Duel as fast as they can do it you know i need them to do it as fast as they did snake eyes next week you know <laughs> please um that that melodious gorgoyle and fishborg harpooner okay so we're not no poles yet i mean we still got a decent amount to go but like I don't know, usually random blisters we have luck on. These aren't random blisters, you know, they are boxes. <laughs> I, I don't know how you would explain that. They're just boxes. Never, that is so fun. Goblin Biker, I love the card art on Goblin Biker. They're fantastic. Talons, every lane. Oh, Gold Pride. Eradicator, we skipped right into it. That is our first ultra rare. Beautiful. Don't know if it's the best one because Gold Pride isn't like the best archetype. It's very cool, but I don't know if that is 
the best value. Whether it is or isn't is to be found out. You guys know. At the time of recording this, I don't. So, I only know a few cards. And that ain't one of them. <laughs> yeah, Ancient Gear, Haggard. That. M. Mimic. Is it Mimic? Something like that. Papas and Ragnarika Pain Oils. We have five super rares right now. This is insane. We do have one ultra, so the ratio ain't terrible. It ain't great for how much we spent on this. I don't think that we're doing well. Uh, again, these might be cheaper at your OTS, so I would check your OTS over checking Walmart. And see if they might have these. Uh, that. And Code of Soul. There's nothing wrong with Code of Soul. It's just like, alright, Pole? Okay. But yeah, check with your OTS. You might get a better deal. Walmart, you know, they got them taxes and they, they add like a dollar or two just because they can uh yeah kind of frustrates me sometimes <laughs> way where there's a will way where there's a will i don't think i pulled way where there's a will last time so first time seeing that kind of a weird name like i don't think i'd want to announce that i'm playing that All right so now i play way where there's a will it's, it's kind of cool. Not that cool. Not cool enough. Oh, we always do it. We <laughs> we pull double. We got wake up and cherry on. Okay. Hey, we got two ultras. Could we get one secret? We got one secret. I think that'd be dope. I definitely don't think we're making our value back. <laughs> we could. We could. There could be a quarter century rare in here, but I'm doubtful. I'm doubtful. This set has very good cards, but I don't know if I would buy into it expecting to make value. We got Fishborg again. Final two packs here. So these are our last chances. After this, it that's it. You know, this is the value series for this set. Sometimes we do multiple value series on products but it's rare it's only if i'm feeling up to it i try to give them one shot and one shot only one looks like it's failing we got centurion mirage mirror forest okay a mirror forest is cool to pull one line final pack come on you gotta be something good you gotta be something fantastic Pull it all back. Okay. So just in case it is anything. We're just going to put it right there. We're going to go through all of these. See. Oh there's a Zoma. I thought it was so dope that Zoma. Uh yeah. Didn't pull anything out of that pack. Here is our final card. This could change it all. Or. It could change nothing. So let's see. In three. Two. Oh, flowering. I mean, hey, Melodious is really cool. It's not money, but Melodious is very cool. That's my big thing. That's what I want to tell you guys at the end of this. I don't think we made our value back. You're seeing it on screen right now. I'm doubtful. It's probably definitely still in the red. But this set has a lot of fun stuff. Like, value aside, you might not make your value back. But this set just has a ton of fun things to play with. You know, just go get get some cards. Go play. Have fun. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Do all those things. If you guys want a bad deck, um, go to my eBay and buy one. It supports the channel. I'll have it linked down below. I'm selling bad decks. That's like a big thing for me. So, yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.